The Waldorf School of St. Louis offers a progressive learning style that joins academics and the arts. And here from the Waldorf School of St. Louis' board member, Kelly Childs. I should also emphasize that you're a board member and parent. Mm -hmm. And so you have your open house coming up um, later this month, January 30th. Is that correct? Yes, yes, we do. And for those who aren't familiar with the school, tell me about it. Sure. Well, it's an educational philosophy that was started by Rudolf Steiner about 100 years ago okay. in Germany. Um, but there are Waldorf schools all over the world. And our school here in Lewis has been around for about 22 years. And the philosophy is really one that takes into account the whole chance. So it is educating the heart, the hands, and the mind. Um, so what that means for a curriculum, it is developed um, and designed to really meet the children where they are mm -hmm. in a developmentally appropriate way, meeting the emotional, physical, and um, mental needs of the children. I mean, because I feel there are so many studies more and more coming out that are saying, obviously, the benefits of early childhood education, but looking at different approaches, different methodologies to say that this is the best way that kids can learn, and it's not always as... Structure is probably not the right word, but sitting at a desk, staring at a chalkboard and for eight hours a day, that that's not necessarily a successful approach. And so when you talk about sort of the whole child, give me some examples that you've sort of seen with your children over the years that they've been there um, sure. that might be not what some people growing up might, you know, from back in the day, how they experienced it and how it's benefited your children. Well, I mean, and actually, there it bears some similarity okay. to back in the day <laughs> back when in the we day. weren't pushing, <laughs> you know, the, the academic mm -hmm. as aspects much earlier in early childhood. Okay. So, you know, our campus, uh, it's we have a beautiful meadow. There's lots of... Um, a lot of nature for the children to interact with. There's a, a rope swing. The children play. The children play with buckets and shovels, and they're digging in the dirt, and they're building roads, and they're constructing things with logs. And um, it's a lot of big motor skill um, uh, play mm -hmm. in terms of the the early childhood program, held by a, just a lovely, beautiful rhythm mm -hmm. uh, throughout the day. And it's kind of a home-like environment. Okay. Um, so it's it's looking at a gentle transition for children from the home into a school setting. What's really interesting, you were telling me this off camera, is you start really quite early, and that's very unheard of, but really unique. Tell me about that, the early childhood portion. Sure. Well, we have um, some parent children or ch parent child classes. So one can actually start in the parent infant class, even as expecting parents up to 18 months old for the child, and then those are sort of one, one day a week, um, or parent attends also, and then there's a parent child classes as well from 18 months up to about three or four years old. And so so what have you seen? Did you start that early with your children? I did. And I so did. What, what was that like? I mean, what was that like for your children and how they then eased into going into preschool and kindergarten? Well, it was great to get the kids around other children in just a, a nice environment to start learning those social skills. But it was also a really, really great experience as a parent yeah. to just be connecting with other moms and start talking about, well, what are you feeding for snack time and what do you do for naps and um, and then start learning about um, more about Waldorf education mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. it's something I was very attracted to. So what's going to happen at the open house? People can come, take tours, guided tours? Mm -hmm. So at the open house we will have other parents, board members, and teachers on hand to answer questions as well as give tours but also take um, our attendees through some experiences of what it's like to be a Waldorf student, um, both maybe in early childhood as well as in the grades program. Well, we've got the information there on the screen for you. It's open house at Waldorf School of St. Louis. It's taking place January 30th from 10 a.m. to noon in Webster Groves at Excellent. Elm Avenue, 915 North Elm Avenue. For more information, you can go to waldorfstl.org. And you do need to RSVP, is that correct? That's correct. So you can call the phone number uh, that we had on the screen. You mentioned two campuses because the address we just showed is sort of the main address, but you have two campuses? Yes, we do. We have our early childhood campus, which goes through second grade um, on Elm and then on Lockwood um, at PCCC Church. We have our third through eighth grade campus. Oh, okay. And so are they se totally separate? They, they are. They're, they're about five minutes apart. Really? Um, but we have a, a lot of activities where our grades children will go over and one grade will read to one of the younger grades oh. or do garden activities and and that type of thing. So That's really nice. Well, again, we've got the information there for you on the screen. It's the open house taking place on January 30th. You must RSVP, uh, so call the number there on your screen or visit WaldorfSTL.org. But stay with us. We're just going to take a quick break, and we're going to have more to talk about the Waldorf School of St. Louis right after this. We'll be right back.
talk about the Waldorf School of St. Louis right after this. We'll be right back. <laughs> 